Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are going to do some nails on my nails. I've used this one before. It is Q. It's a um, breathable nail color treatment and it is called Belle Ballerina. I got it at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. And it's a beautiful neutral and it's got like some blue shimmers in it. So... I painted these last night and then I didn't get around to doing any stamping. So I actually went to, to work with uh, bare nails. Okay, so I got my money by me. This is for January. So this month. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm just pulling everything out of the little bag. Many by me monthly club. So this month um, is perfect prose. So there's um, two new subscriber ex exclusive plates. MXM one one nine is piled high with literally lit. lit blah, 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 blah. Literary expressions, friendly felines, and a buffet-style bookshelf for that cozy library field. Next is MXM120 is warmed up with a full nail designs featuring coffee, cats, and plenty of good reads. Both plates are designed to be quick and easy to use so you can get back to your book. The bonus gift this month is a luxury... Luxurious bronze metal nail powder so you can add some shimmer to your litter well i can't even talk today <laughs> Woo. okay we're, we're gonna skip <laughs> so that's the card and then this is the design that they've done so i don't know if they've used the colors because i don't get the polishes but they give you um directions on how to do do it if you want wish to so they've done a gradient on all the nails so actually i haven't done a gradient in a long time we we might have to remedy that okay so let's take a look at the plates okay so this is 119 uh, let me stand up so Oh, sorry, hitting camera. Um, okay, there, that probably looks better. Okay, so this is 119. So it's got keep, keep calm and read on. My sister, oh, well, I guess she's my ex sister in law now, but she would love this. She is, she absolutely loves her books. So. So that's the first one and then MXM120 so book nerd cats coffee and books so lots of cute designs so very cute okay I'm not sure which ones we're going to use yet. I figure this is a good good base for it. Because when I painted my nails, I just did something quick and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Okay. So next is the powder art pen. So it gives you instructions how to use. Remove the powder pen cap. Using the sponge tip, rub the powder onto an old stamper head. Do not apply onto polished nail as it will cause dents in wet polish. Once your nail polish is semi-tacky, stamp the powder onto the nail. So, do, do, do. I need, I need something to open. So this will work amazingly over gel polish. Um, there's a few ways you can do it for 
regular polish. I don't think I even opened it on the seam. <laughs> So I'll open it up. I just want to take a look. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's like a bronzy color. And then that is where the powder is. So I've never tried one of these pen ones before. So, so that's interesting. Okay we'll come up with something with that okay let me get ready and we'll we'll be right back okay so we're gonna use 120 i will use 119 another time um that one has a lot of designs that i want to do a lot of reverse stamping and um i want to do something a little um quicker kind of easier today and as always when I get a new plate I clean it off in case there's any oils or anything from the factory so when it look even had a little bit of dirt on there you can see so it's always good to do that okay so first off we're gonna do Okay, so I'm going to do, um, I want to do one of these cat ones. So I might do this one because it looks fairly easy. So we'll do that. Where's my scraper? Scraper. Hold the plate down. And pull up. Okay, so I can get rid of that and I got one little spot there so there's the first image put that aside of course my lint roller sticking everywhere and I'm thinking I really like this little coffee cup so I'll do the cat on one coffee cup no, maybe not. Maybe let's do. Da, 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 da. Hang on. Actually, I'm going to do the little coffee cup one. Kind of like that. There we go. And then we're going to get that. Come on. Doesn't want to come off for some reason. I'll worry about it later. Okay. And then I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to do the cat, the coffee cup. I think I might do this coffee cup. I just want this coffee cup. And I'm going to do it in green. Let's do it in blue. What is this? Flotsam. Just so the label will be dark and then I'll do the rest in white. Sorry, I forgot to take off <laughs> the lids. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Okay, so we're going to get rid of babies it's a cute cup look at that and that'll fit on my baby finger nicely and then we're going to okay and then I'm going to do this one I, I don't want I don't need all of it, so I'm just going to do the, like, the main, because it's going to go on this finger. And 
and then on my thumb we're going to use this okay so let me get ready we'll be back hang on okay so for the coffee cup i'm just going to paint it all in white so we're gonna just this one will be super easy and then i just kind of blob, blob it on and then i kind of move the polish out to the edges Um, I try not to touch the uh, brush to the image. Um, so there, I did go over a little bit on the one side, but it's okay. Okay, so we're going to make our little coffee cup and saucer white and then we'll make the books in that have some color There's him. Try to get off that little spot there. Okay. And then we're going to make the whipped cream. Beige color. Okay. And I haven't decided what color I want to make the cat. Do I make him white, black, beige? Well, I stamped it in black, so I don't want to make him black. So let's make him. I'm going to mix the brown so it's a little darker, but I wanted to paint him. And then when I get close to the edges, I kind of just tap it in. So there's my a little kitty cat. I'm just going to do the two with you and then we'll um, this red is really it's almost dead. We'll mix some of the white in. I'm going to paint one of the books. Okay. I might as well make do one of these books red. And they'll kind of match. And then I want to do a straw. Oop. And I use some of this flotsam so I can add some 
blue element in so it'll match the the little cup or coffee cup so I'm gonna do this one so I'm gonna incorporate my colors together There. A little hole there, so I want to make sure. There we go. And do this one. One sec. Okay, so I painted them all. I accidentally, when I was taking some of the stuff off, I, I got rid of the S by accident, <laughs> but it's okay. It's not going to fit on my nail anyway, so I'll kind of tilt it to, to get rid of it because I didn't want to redo it, um, but they're all painted now, so I'm going to um, put them over to the side and then we'll get finished stamping. Okay, one sec. Okay, so now for the pen, I have an old stamper. As you can tell, it's been well loved. Um, do not use a new stamper when you're using chrome powders because it won't do it right away, but you'll get like little micro tears in the stamper and then it gets cloudy and then you can't use it. Um, so when you get an old stamper, dedicate it for um, powders. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is rub it on the stamper. So I don't need a big um, area because I'm just doing book nerd on my thumb. So there. So each time you need some, um, you stick it inside and then it will um, put the powder onto the sponge. Okay, so we're going to put this aside for a second. Now I'm, oh, I hit my lamp. There. Uh, I am using the She Modern Sticky Stamping Polish because it will pick up the chrome. So, so basically we scrape like normal. Get our and then I kind of guess I can kind of half see where it's going and then touch down. Look at that. Can you see that? So I'm gonna just let that dry because you can see on the stamper it says book nerd it's cute so i'm going to just clean that off okay so now i'm going to wait um a few minutes um a few more minutes for my um our images to dry and then we will apply it and uh, finish off the mani okay so hang on Okay, so they're pretty much almost dry. So this is my Pro FX sticky base coat. This one's not available anymore, um, but I'm finishing it off because, you know, I'm not going to waste product. Um, but Maniology has a sticky base coat 
Uh, you can use Orly Bonder or yeah, you know, or Yellow Stopper. And I'm sure there's other companies that sell a um, a sticky base coat. Um, yeah, I don't. I think this company went under or something, but I'm a little sad. Okay, so now I'm going to wait about 30 seconds to a minute. I usually do 30 seconds or so. Um, you want your sticky base coat tacky. You do not want it wet and you do not want it dry. And it will dry. So if you leave it on too long, you'll have to reapply it. Okay, so we will be back in a moment. Okay, so first up, we'll do our little coffee cup. And I'm going to do it on an angle so it looks good. Then we're going to do our kitty cat. So center where I want him. And then we're going to touch down. And we're going to do our coffee cups and books I'm gonna center and then touch down now this guy so yeah center where I want it and then kind of touch down And that's it. I was going to do a couple of little hearts, but I don't really like them on there. So we're going to leave it at that. Now I have a couple images that have overlapped. So there's the little heart. And then the coffee cup. I can just kind of cut it. Oops. Okay, and then this one, oh, it just totally fell off. We got a little fuzz. It's a Pippa fuzz, a blooming Pippa, because <laughs> she's, she's a fuzzy girl. Okay, look at that. Doesn't that look cute? And then my book nerd. So I just took, I just take like a little fluffy brush and there you go okay so now I am going in uh, with my she modern this is so normally I use the matte clear base top sealer I think she just relabeled it sealer stamping clear matte watercolored jelly polish and this one's almost done I figure instead of fighting with it, I'll just use this one. So I want to seal in my stamping. So I just do a thin, even coat over all my stamping. And then once it dries, it'll go matte so I know Oops, I got a little dropping. Um, and then I can go in with. Oh, I just kind of beat it up there. There we go. I, I think I put too much on. I'm just trying to take some of it off. Okay. I'm not going to play with that because I don't want to wreck it. Okay, so once this is dry, then I'm going to go in with my um, Salon Perfect Manicure Fast Dry Top Coat. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to let this dry so you guys can see it, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so there it is matte, and... 
and sealed in the chrome. And all the stamping. Doesn't it look pretty? I think it's so cute. Very colorful. Okay, and now we're just going to go in with my fast dry top coat. And then that is my mani. So um, I will have products listed down below for everything. I will have some swatch photos coming up for you. And then, oh, and of always, of course, I will have Daisy and Peppa. Um, so yeah, so thank you for hanging out with me while I do this Manny. I think it turned out super cute. And I will show you how to use this chrome um, stick on gel polish the next time. I figured, well, since I was doing regular polish, we would, I would show you how to use it on regular polish. So there, there is my Manny. Okay, so thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe and warm because it's cold. Okay, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye. <laughs>